Hey friends, how's it going? I'm going to talk to you today about the custom camper mounts I did for my Tacoma for my Jayco pop-up truck camper. I did some shopping around and I looked at Happy Jacks and I looked at Torque Lift and I looked at all those and kind of weighed out the pros and cons and the pros of the Torque Lifts vastly outweigh the Happy Jacks from the research I did. However, the cost is a massive concern for me. I really wasn't willing to spend over twice as much on the mounts as I did on the camper itself. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and try to fabricate my own with some scraps I had laying around and uh, just a handful of things from the hardware store. I've had these mounts for well over a year now and they have held up great. Everything is fine up to this point. So today I'm going to walk you through what I did to make these for myself and some pros and cons of what I did. So stick around and check it out. So this is the basic setup of the extension from what's coming under the truck. Um, now this is let's see I forget inch and a quarter angle iron that I welded together um, drilled a hole through to put this locking pin through to the two inch square tubing on the underside of the truck drilled through got this eye bolt these are all rated to 1200 pounds chain I believe is rated to 800 pounds I believe these carabiners are also rated to 800 pounds. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think 800 pounds was kind of the round number I went for in ratings for all this. So between all four points of the truck, um, just between the hardware I bought, um, you know, basically 800 pounds in every corner. The welds in here are not the prettiest thing you're ever going to see. Um, <laughs> I think I did these pretty soon after I got my little Harbor Freight 120 MIG welder. Um, but they have held incredibly well. I haven't seen any signs of cracking or anything in there. Um, overall, um, they're doing okay. Now, would I recommend this? Probably not. Could I have done better? probably but you know they've held up we've been up and down bumpy roads forest roads um and these are among the pieces on the truck i am most confident in and basically going around the truck these are all the exact same with the exception of where these holes are drilled through they differ from side to side and corner to corner uh, they are all unique uh, to each other as you can see I did drill through here at one point I don't remember why also these I just keep in the back of the camper at any given time but, but that about wraps it up for the extensions okay so this is the basic setup of the forward mounts under the truck I have this two inch square tubing attached to this uh, piece of angle iron it's bolted through here one to the other bolted here through an existing hole of the frame and then I, I drilled through under here all the way through the frame so the bolt is running from the inside of the frame in there all the way through the bottom mounting down here uh, it's, if I remember right I used all grade 8 fasteners so they're rated pretty high uh, in terms of strength so I feel pretty confident in these these haven't shifted or moved or bent or done anything these are have been working just fine other than a little bit of surface rust that I probably need to touch up but these are pretty good when I'm installing these they just fit together just like this slides right in here got my hole drilled a couple holes drilled because it was a little bit of trial and effort or trial and error I should say but yep that's that tie this off 
the turnbuckle to the camper and we're good to go. The rears back here are fairly similar. I still have angle iron bolted through this time in two spots to the square tubing so it doesn't rotate on just one mounting point. It's also mounted through to the tow hitch frame in two spots here and up there. Also with grade eight fasteners and these mount up exactly the same as the front. So again, slides through right in here. Nice and tight, close into the bumper. Where's my hole? There you are. These are a little bit tighter fit. As you can see, there we go. It just clips in right there. There we go. Same thing back here. A little loose, but these snug up as soon as you tighten everything down and just stay right where they are. Well, that about wraps it up for the camper mounts I made for the Tacoma. I hope this helped. If any of you were curious about making your own, if you have any questions about what I did, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Y'all take it easy and I'll see you later. Thanks. Thank you.